Hey folks, it's Troy here from Microvellus Cameras with a few used items that I think you should be aware of. Things you want to consider, things you might have overlooked before, but I want you to have some reasons to come check these out. So, I've got two digital cameras, I've got two manual focus lenses, and then I've got... You just wait and see. So, first up are the two cool lenses. Uh, something we don't see terribly often here is prime lenses for the Canon FD mount. So. Take, take note here that we just got in a 28 millimeter, will it focus? There we go, there we go. 28 millimeter f2.8 Canon FD lens. A cute little wide angle lens that's selling for just 95 bucks. So that's pretty cool. We have a beautiful, beautiful lens that inspired me to want to do this video in the first place, which is this Nikon 51.4. It is in such beautiful shape. It's just, it's just glorious. So, come check this out here. Nikon manual focus 51.4, and that is selling for $115. It just, uh, it just feels so good. It's a beautiful lens. Then, the mystery item I'm gonna throw right into the middle of the video, and that is for all the film shooters out there, and especially for all the medium format film shooters. Why is this still here? Someone needs to come and get this beautiful Fuji 645 camera. It's a 645 rangefinder with autofocus and a zoom lens and even a little pop-up flash. The Fuji GA645ZI Professional is a fantastic camera and I kind of feel like you're sleeping on it by letting this still be here. It's been here too long. Come get this camera. It is selling for $1,250 and it's beautiful. Now, two more pieces that you might overlook or might not notice that we have. Uh, first one up is this. We don't often do point and shoot cameras, but we do do this one. It is the Panasonic DMC ZS100. It is uh, got, a, got a Leica lens on it. It's got a really long zoom here of, I knew it, approximately 25 millimeters to 250 millimeter equivalent. It's a great little travel camera. The thing that makes it weird and why you might not have normally considered it is because, well, the, cam the, the camera's battery charges inside the body and we don't have the cable. So we have the camera, we have the battery, but you're going to have to get the cable on your own. This awesome little camera is selling for $325. So if you've been wanting a quality camera uh, with a nice Leica lens on it that can fit in your coat pocket, you really should come consider this guy and then go find that proper charging cable that you need. Still kind of cool. Then my second little weird option for you is this guy from Sony. It's their Sony RX1. So unusual point and shoot in that you can see it's nice and small and compact, but it has a full frame sensor in here. A full frame sensor with a Carl Zeiss 35 f2 lens on it. This thing is pretty darn nifty. What makes it unusual though and why it qualifies for my video on things that are neat but maybe you overlook them and you shouldn't overlook them is because it does have a little bit of an internal battery problem such that when you take the battery out to charge it, it loses its date information. So each time you charge the battery and then put it back in, you'll need to reset the date. Uh, we did send this into Sony to consider having it repaired and the repair estimate came back. It, it just was not worth it. It is a great camera with that one minor flaw. It loses the date when you take the battery out. So, just for that reason alone, this beautiful little camera, again, full frame sensor, full frame sensor with a Carl Zeiss 35 F2 on it, is selling for just 650 bucks. So, some neat things. A couple of cool lenses for you. A couple of really cool cameras for you. And, a beautiful medium format camera that you all have been neglecting. So come on out here and check out these fine pieces of camera photographic equipment.